Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this image today, and it's got a watermark on it, and she said it was from a free clip art site, and I kind of looked into it, and sure enough, it said free, so I'm going to show how to get rid of this watermark, and it's really pretty easy. I've already done it here. It, it uh, cleaned up really good. It's pretty crisp and sharp. But I'm going to take this image and I'm just going to, I'm not going to bitmap it. I'm just going to outline, trace, clip art. Takes just a second. Hit OK. Your new trace version will be on top. As you're dragging it, you can see something wrong up at the top that there's a line there. So we'll left click, right click, and there's that line you can see. But it's very easily taken away with your virtual segment delete key. And the reason I turned it into a hairline is I want to see what's making up that that uh, watermark. So I'm going to have to do is just remove this watermark. And uh, it takes just a little bit of time. And if you mess up, and I'm going to intentionally mess up here, I'm going to lasso and just delete. But I deleted this line. Let's go back here. I deleted way too much. So let's try just a little bit at a time. Okay, we're doing good. We've just taken away that line, so we're not hurting. And all I'm doing is holding down my left mouse button. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a little bit more of this line. Maybe that's too much. I'm trying to get rid of that squiggle. Anyway, that's good enough. Now I'm going to take my shape tool. Now I do have to click on the item and ungroup it. And then get my shape tool. So if your shape tool never does anything, it's because your item's been grouped together. So I'm just going to take this node and I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to try to take out that node and that node. We don't need it, evidently. That looks pretty good. I actually need to cut this line at the bottom. And you could clean this up a little bit more, but now this will not fill in if you just go over and, and it'll fill in the whole thing so you're going to have to take a little bit of time and just take your smart fill tool and just fill in a couple of spots and it traced pretty good it's it's pretty clean looking and then what we're going to do after we get it all filled in i'm going to have to zoom in here and I would make that circle a little more round if I was going to engrave this. But you can still see the hairline. So you then you just go up here and you just go left click, no hairline. So now you've got a good trace version. And the watermark is gone. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.